Kennel and Run video guide. Ensure that there is a flat level base. Position the floor on the base, ideally concrete bearers, concrete paving slabs or treated wooden bearers. Place the gable end on the floor and position the side flush with one of the ends, ensuring that the framing at the base are parallel with each other. Secure the corner together with 80mm coach screws using the pre-drilled holes. Repeat the procedure on all four corners and then square all the sides up with the floor. Again, ensuring that all framing is parallel at the base. Screw together and parts that are in two with the framing flush together at the centres to fit. This completes the kennel part of the kennel and run. Place the back blank section with the framing flush to the kennel part and screw to secure from the inside with the 50mm screws, making sure that the boards overlap at the rear of the kennel. Position the end panel and secure to the rear panel using 80mm coach screws, ensuring that the bottom framing is parallel on all sections. Secure the front mesh panel with 50mm screws to the kennel part, ensuring that the mesh is on the inside of the kennel, and fix the end section to the mesh panel using 80mm coach screws, where indicated by the pre-drilled holes. There is a screw holding the door in place for transportation purposes. Locate this and remove before attempting to open the door. Position the roof sections individually on top of the shed and screw through the sides of the roof into the gable end panels. From the inside of the shed, screw upwards through the sides into the spars in the roof. Position the corner lats on all four corners of the building making sure that they are flush with the bottom of the building. These may need to be cut to length to align with the roof. There is also an extra strip in there for joining the section at the rear. This should be secured with 40mm lat nails. Unroll the felt into individual rolls, starting with the full rolls. Start at the bottom and work towards the pent top. Allow the felt to overhang at the bottom of the sides and ends by 50mm and secure at the top using the 11mm galvanised felt tacks. Secure the felt along the top 
and pull downwards ensuring that the felt is straight and not wrinkled. Nail from the centre with the felt tacks working towards the end of the roof. When overlapping the felt, ensure that there is at least 80mm or 3 inches coverage to ensure no leaks occur. Position the fascia boards over the edge of the felt making sure that they are level and secure with the 40mm lat nails. The fascia should be fitted to the front and two sides but not at the rear as this will hold water. Secure the sides and ends to the floor in the kennel area making sure that the screws catch the bearer in the end of the shed. The building is treated with a quality water-based wood preservative. Upon installation it is recommended that it be retreated within three months and annually thereafter to prolong the building's life. TGB have its own brand of treatment in either red cedar or brown and this is available from your local stockist.